On the screen you can see future 3 upcoming videos on my channel, so if you are subscribed for a particular type of content, stay tuned. This is the final look. <laughs> Stood by your side through all of the lives, watching you cry for me. Get on your knees. Creating a system restore point. Open up start type in create and look for create a restore point. Click on that, click on configure and make sure turn on system protection is clicked. Then move this slider to the right a little bit. I have it at 20%. After that, click create and go through this process to create a restore point. If anything goes wrong or if you wish to undo the changes, simply go back here, click system restore and then go through these options and find a restore point that you can use. Go through the process to undo the changes. Step zero, you need to get all the files and programs that you need to follow along. Check out my website ytpriest.weebly.com then check out the blog section. You will need to download a program called Rainmeter from rainmeter.net there is a download final button. Click on it and download the program. You will also need wallpaper engine 1.1.341 feel free to google that i can't give you the download links because that's illegal but i can show you what to google for so feel free to type this in google and see if you can find anything after you acquire the package the programs let's get started by installing wallpaper engine so here i have wallpaper engine folder i simply open it up and inside there will be an installer button I go through the process and I install it. After that, I open up Halloween theme main folder and I go into step one. There is a folder that I simply copy and I go back to wallpaper engine, projects, default projects, and this is where I paste it. After that's done, I can go back to wallpaper engine folder and simply start the launcher application. The program opens up. I find the Halloween 2018 theme. This is how the image looks like. I click on it and I hit OK. By the way, there is also a song playing in the background. You can also move the volume slider and you will notice that the music is playing in the background. If you're wondering what the song is, the song is actually from a video game called Silent Hill. However, for this particular video, I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't get a copyright strike. I'm going to hit OK. Now you will notice that the theme has changed. You'll notice that if you move your cursor, these little lights or fireflies, I think they are, they move around as well, so you scatter them a little bit. Okay, step number two. Let's open up the Halloween folder and install the Rain Meter program. Go through the installation procedure and when you're done, launch the program. Next, let's go into the Halloween theme main folder. Step two and go inside the fonts. Here you have a bunch of fonts that are included and you can go through them and see which ones you like. Once you open up the font, simply right click on it and hit install. This will install the font on your computer. So as you can see, you have a couple of them. You can install all of them or just one feel free to decide. Now let's go into the Halloween theme main folder and go into the step three and let's go to simple calendar. There's simple calendar again, right click and copy this. Go to documents, rain meter, skins and simply right click and paste the skin or the folder right there. After that, let's open up rain meter. Once the rain meter opens, you'll see a drop in the tray area next to the clock. Simply double click on it to open up the rain meter settings. Look for simple calendar, expand this, click on this and click load. You can also click edit and you will find these settings. Here's how I have mine adjusted if you want to copy what I did. If you want to change the font, you simply find font face equals and here's the name of the font. Going back into the step two fonts folder, you see that I am using the first Arvigo font. So that's what I typed in after installing the font, of course. Again, here are all of the settings that I am using, so you can go through and check all the settings and copy what I'm using and use it yourself if you want to. Now you can either put your on the middle, on the top of the screen, or maybe even right here at the pumpkin. I usually have it at the pumpkin, but for this video, I'm going to leave it at the center of the screen. This is the Halloween theme, and that's the reason why the date is so big. Okay. Plowing ahead. Let's install a couple of more skins. Going back to Halloween theme main folder, look for Monster Cat visualizer for Rain Meter. I'm going to simply double click on it 
to install it. Also install all of these plugins that come along, so select all of these. I have them installed as you can see, so I'm not going to do that. Once you select all of them, click install. Once you do that, you'll notice that the setup will open. Click the setup and this kind of window will pop up. As you can see, the visualizer already appears on the screen, but we need to configure it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the rotation angle and I'm going to use 270. Actually, let's first change the scale so it's easier to rotate. So looking for 270 degrees. There we go. After that, I simply left click on it and I drag it close to the date. Next, we can change the visualizer scale a little bit. You can also move the mouse wheel on your mouse and the number will also change. Next, let's click on Media Player. I'm going to choose Vinamp because that's what I have installed. If you have something else, feel free to choose something else. I'm going to click on Visualizer and I'm going to change the bar count. I'm going to turn it down a little bit until I get the desired size, something like that. And I'm going to right click and unload all of these other skins. If you want to use these, feel free to position them somewhere on the screen. I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to unload these. So I modified the settings a little bit. Here's what I'm using so you can see my, my settings. Uh, by the way, here's where you change the color of the visualizer if that's what you want to do. And yeah, I'm just going to click close. Let's go back to Halloween theme main folder. This time I'm going to double click on taskbar X and I'm going to click install. This, as you've already seen, installs the taskbar X, which actually makes the taskbar transparent and also moves your icons to the center of the screen. You can also open up taskbar X settings over here, click edit, scroll down and you can change the transparency type. As you can see, mine is fully transparent, but here you have instructions how to change the transparency type to something else. So for example, let's say I wanted it to be blurry, I simply put 2, I save it, and I can refresh the skin. As you can see now, it's there's a little blur there. So if you like that, you can keep that. Next, let's right click on the desktop, go view and show desktop icons, so we hide these. Let's go back to Halloween theme main folder, look for animated circular icon launcher and install it. After you install this skin, you'll notice that the circle appears, and if you hover over it, your icons appear. But let's actually change a couple of things about it. Let's right click on it and go to open settings. So as you can see over here we have main icon picture, it's actually called productivity.png. Open up documents, go to Rainmeter skins, look for a circular icon launcher, open it up, go to resources and here we have productivity icon. What I actually did is I actually created another icon. So I'm going to remove this one and I'm simply going to put this one in. It's called productivity. As you can see, it looks like the light of this lantern. Next, let's open up the settings once again. And where it says hide center icon, I'm going to put zero and save this. And I'm going to refresh this skin. Now, as you can see, we have this center icon. And if I simply click and move and drag this somewhere to the center of this lantern, I can just position it a little better. Like so, as you can see, now we actually have the icons hidden within the lantern. Also, what I'm going to do is go to where it says text equals and I'm going to simply delete this. And I'm going to look for hide circle and I'm going to put one. I'm going to click file save and I'm simply going to refresh the skin. Now, if we simply hover over, as you can see, that's where the icons are hidden now. Once again, here are all of the settings that I'm using here. You will find this productivity icon within the package. So feel free to copy it and simply paste it into this folder. Optional changes are to move the date where the pumpkin is and also to right click at the taskbar, go to properties and tick auto hide taskbar in desktop mode. And that's it, play any song in the background, minimize everything and enjoy your desktop and wait for the date to hit 31st. October. That's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Consider rating, sharing the video, subscribing to the channel. I've noticed quite a few of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. Feel free to do that because it is free and you can unsubscribe at any particular moment. Leave your comments below. I appreciate all the feedback and thank you guys so much. I will see you in future videos. Priest, signing out. Stay awesome. I'm the king, winner of things, king of the diamond ring. Get on your knees, apologize, please, I'll let you die for. Black and gold, but I'm